This video is designed to go over and provide the necessary steps required to install Addo Extend SAN on Apple Macs. Starting with macOS Big Sur, Apple has placed extra security restrictions on all applications that require kernel extension drivers, also known as Kex, to function. As Extend SAN relies on Kex drivers to operate, these steps need to be taken in order to grant the permissions to run Extend SAN. The first step will require the use of recovery mode. Recovery mode is a useful tool introduced back in macOS 10.7 Lion that offers a lot of features and control over how to troubleshoot, repair, or in our case, grant permissions for driver installations. How you will enter recovery mode will be different based on whether the Mac you are using is Intel based or is Apple M series based. If you are using an Intel based Mac, holding down the command and R buttons on the keyboard while powering on the Mac will start recovery mode. If you have a Mac with an Apple M series chip, which will be any Mac made after November of 2020, you simply need to hold down the power button. After a few moments, this will bring up the startup options window. Select the gear icon labeled options and then continue. Next, in the top left corner of the screen, there will be the familiar Apple drop down menu bar. Select utilities and then open the terminal. This is where you will enter the following command spctl space kext dash consent space add space fc 94733tzd. This command will allow the extensan application to load, allowing the kex consent by adding the addo team ID. If entered correctly, there will be no output, and we can now close the terminal. If you are using a new M1 based Mac, there is one more step that will need to be taken in recovery mode. On Macs with M series silicon, Apple has implemented additional security features. These settings will disable all third party CACs from installing. To allow ExtendSAN to operate, this setting must be lowered within the Mac's startup security utility. The setting needs to be changed from full security down to reduced security. To get to this menu, from the drop down menu bar, select Utilities again, and this time the Startup Security Utility. This will present a new window. Highlight and select the system on which ExtendSAN is being installed to, and then click on the Security Policy button. From here, you can select the Reduce Security and click OK button to save your choice. Once the security policy has been lowered and the Addo consent has been given to the text, restart the Mac and you can boot back into Mac OS. Once booted back into macOS, download the ExtendSAN software from the addo.com website and then open the downloaded DMG file and run the ExtendSAN installer. macOS will then prompt you for your Mac's password before beginning the operation. A new pop-up message saying iCloud Drive may not work properly. This can be dismissed by pressing the OK button. Once the installer has been opened, follow the on-screen prompts to guide you through the installation process. Accept the terms of the license agreement by checking the box and hitting Next. Here is where you will need to enter the registration information to continue installation. This information will have been mailed to you upon the purchase of ExtendSAN. If you have not yet purchased ExtendSAN, you may go to the Ada website to buy and receive your registration file. Save the registration file to your computer and then click Browse. Here is where you will be able to navigate to where you saved your ExtendSAN license and then hit Open. This will fill in the required information automatically for you. In the next window, select a complete install and then install.
After the installation finishes, there will be a new pop-up window. This time it will prompt you with a notice that a system extension has been updated. This time you will want to click on the Open Security Preferences button. This will take you to the security and privacy in the system preferences. Click on the lock icon in the bottom left of the window to make any changes, enter your password, and then click allow. You will then see a notification that a restart is required before the new system extension can be used. Make sure any programs that you have open can be closed, and then hit restart. Upon reboot and completion of all the other steps in the video, you will now be able to open and use Extensan to connect to your iSCSI targets.